Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're good today. Now today's video, we are doing another candy makeup video and this candy makeup video is gonna be the drumstick lolly. So I'm really excited to do this video. I have practiced it before, but uh, I don't know if it's the best, but it's the best that I can do. If you haven't come across my series before, I just basically take inspiration from candy and I try to use that inspo for my makeup. So whatever colors are on the candy, I try to do it on my face. So we're turning candy into makeup. Yeah, I've done a couple of videos already. I've done the fizzy bubblegum bottle. I've done the nerds candy. I've done the twill chocolate bar. I've done the, what else have I done? The jazzle jazzy sweets. I've done the refreshers candy. So I'll link everything down below so you can catch up on them. But today, this is gonna be a drumstick version. I've got my space buns in and I've got my manchuri top, which means my dear, I've learned that. So this is gonna be a challenging one because um, when I practice this, the red didn't work really well in this palette. I don't know, it was really hard to blend. I've now discovered that <laughs> from the amounts of times I've used this palette. Um, but yeah, if you wanna see how I do this, if you want to see me fail, if you want to see me do well, uh, make sure you carry on watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you want to come a pitch. Yeah, without further ado, let's get into the makeup. So I'm going to start off, I've already concealed my eyes and everything. I'm going to start off with the just a transition shade. I'm just going to go in the Imagination palette and, and I'm just going to go in with Loving Life, this one. And I'm just going to put that all over my lid just to like give it some some, you know what I'm saying? And then we're gonna go in the NYX Ultimate Brights palette, which I've been using a lot throughout my sweet series. And the only thing I come across the other day when I was practicing this look is the red color. I don't know where it is, it could be me, my blending skills, but this red color is quite hard to blend. I don't know whether it's because it's got like, I don't know, it's got like specks of like glitter in there tiny specs but I don't know I just find this red quite tough to blend I don't know whether it's because it's a dark color or whatever but yeah I had that problem but we're gonna start off with this yellow color and I'm gonna put that just where my brow bone is towards my eyebrow and I don't even know anything about this is I don't have a mirror so I'm gonna have to use the imaginations palette for a mirror we are just going on the brow bone like that and we're just tapping it on and I am going towards my eyebrow too and I'm gonna put more on and the thing with this palette you do have to quite dip in like a few times to get the pigment but gotta do what you gotta do <laughs> okay so I'm putting this right up there I'm gonna put the red underneath I don't know whether it's because I find the red hard to blend because it was right on my eye eyebrow bone and I don't know it just looked proper my eyebrow, my eyebrow bone, that sounds weird. My eyebrow bone looked co like contoured with the red because it's like a bone and I don't know. But I'm gonna just bring this out a bit. You know what I'm saying? Just, you know, just gonna bring this out a bit like so you can see it. There as we go, ow! Right, okay, so now this is the bit where we're gonna go in the red. And I don't know what brush to use for this. Okay, I'm gonna go with this a flat brush. This is a Zoeza, Zoeza, Zoeza Classic Shader 1032. No, two, two and we're gonna go in with the red now. And this is scary because I hate blending these kind of colors. Um, so we're gonna just dab ourselves some red. Voila. And I'm gonna go underneath the yellow. These do not have shade names, so I'm just going by the colour. We're going to take this on the brow bone underneath the yellow. We're going to go up here, still under the yellow. But I'll go take some more of my brush because I'm running out of shades and this is the bit where it can go weird. I'm going to take the yellow and I'm just going to go around towards my noses, just make sure it's on top of the red. Just like that, and yeah, this is what we're working with, and it is messy. And I'm just literally just stamping. I'm just stamping, and I'm gonna take more of that yellow, and I'm gonna put it on top of the red, just so you can still see it, because it's a bit weird. Okay, so now I need to go back on my phone to see what this looked like, because I have forgotten. 
Hmm. Okay. So, what I'm planning on doing is, okay, so for this part, I think I'm gonna cut the crease just under the red. I don't know if this is gonna work because I totally forgot how to do this. But I'm just gonna take some concealer and I really need to get the white jumbo pencil from NYX because I've seen my friend on YouTube use it, Siobhan Makeup Is, and she highly recommends it for cutting creases and everything because it doesn't budge. And that is what I need right now and I don't have that right now. So I'm gonna have to deal this with the concealer. So I'm just gonna take a lot of my brush and I'm just going to, I'm gonna freehand it like the crease just because I don't want it too high and I wish I put more of that red on now. See, this isn't going too bad. It could be better, but... Okay, so that is what we've got so far. And it is a bit... It's a bit messy, I can tell you that. We're gonna go in the green, and when I use this green, I don't, I can't remember how this green performed to be honest. So we're going to go into the NYX palette and we're going to take this green right in the corner and we're just going to put that where we concealed, try to do a mini cut crease. We're going to take this green right under the red and I feel like I need a smaller brush for this. So I'm going to take a really tight brush and I'm just going to coat that with a green. So it's like that and I'm just going to take it right under, right under the red. Just like that, and I can see gaps still. I don't know how people get in there. I'm gonna to have to go back in the red though, just to try and tighten it up. So I'm gonna take the red with the same brush and just, I'm trying to do a color block. That's what I'm trying to do and it's not easy. There we go, we've got our green. We're going to take the green on a different brush and we're just going to put that under the red, like that. And I don't know how I feel about it. <laughs> Let's see what I mean. Look at this green. Like, it doesn't... Maybe i just got to tap it. It doesn't blend nice. Okay, so that is the best I can do. Okay, now we're going to cut the crease again. Oh my god, I'm sick of these cut creases. But we're going to cut the crease onto the green and I'm going to make a smaller crease when I'm cutting it because I want the yellow to show up. So we're gonna go back into this brush again and we're gonna cut the crease on the green. That's why I haven't filled the lid of the green because we're gonna cut it and yeah. And I'm gonna cut it as though I'm like doing eyeliner on my eye. I don't know how I feel about it, but there you go. Okay, we're gonna take that small, really tight brush again and we're gonna go in the yellow. We're gonna go in the yellow here and we're just gonna go over where we did that mini cut crease. It wasn't the best mini cut crease, but I did what I can do. So we're gonna go in here and I really need glasses and I don't wear contact lenses, so I am finding this really difficult. <gasps> See, I've gone over. I need contacts. Oh. Is this gonna take me ages to do it on the other eye? I can just see it. Okay, so we have got the colour going on and yeah, it looks a bit crazy. But to finish that eye off, I'm gonna take some yellow eyeliner from the NYX Vivid Brights collection and I'm just gonna create a wing. Let me see what this looks like. So hopefully this will make it more yellow. Okay, so we have created that yellow wing. It looks a bit off, but we're going with it. Okay, so I have tried my best of this. It's not perfect, but I'm gonna just repeat everything what I did on this side on the other eye. So wish me luck because that took me a blooming ages. And then I'm going to do my base after. I might put my mascara on whilst I'm doing it off camera. I don't know, I'll, I'll see, so. Okay guys, so my attempt on the side has done. All I can say is, I feel like this has gone higher than this one, but oh, I can never do things symmetrical anyway. I, I tried to do my best, but I'm gonna start off on my base now. I'm gonna put the Revlon Color Stay 150 onto my face, and we're gonna do this base. 
Right, we're gonna go with some concealer. I'm gonna go in the Last Imperfection collection and this is in the shade Fat One. And I'm just gonna conceal my under eye area. My nose, keep as well. This is running out, I need some more concealer. Oh, this is gonna dry really quick, I can just see it. Right, I'm gonna buff that in with my VC Blender. Okay, I'm just gonna go in with my Imagination Highlight to the Moon palette. I'm just gonna take the powder pretty hot in here and I'm just gonna powder where we concealed. And I've been going for this powder a lot more often now because everything is in place. I did used to use this one, the Rimmel one, but I have everything here, so it's really great. Okay, we're gonna do some a contour. We're gonna go in with the same palette and I'm gonna go in the color literally. I'm just gonna go in my hula really quickly and I'm just gonna bronze a bit, not too much, just a cash, a casual bronze. Okay, we're gonna go in some blush and I'm gonna go in the iHeart Revolution Bleeding Heart Baked Highlighter, but I'm gonna use this as a blush because it's so pretty. And we're just gonna blush. Like the world isn't gonna end. Oh, the drumsticks lollipops are also pink. Got a pink, like, sweet to it when you open it. So this could be the pinkness from my blush. Yeah, that's pretty. Okay, so I'm going to go in the highlights, and again, I'm going to go back in the Imagination highlights, and I'm literally just going to take all three from the bottom row, so we're going to do this, and I think this will be a great combination, and we're just going to highlight. Like that. Oh my god, look at that. Look at that glow. It is gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay, we're going to go in our lower lash line, and... I'm gonna try, oh my gosh, see that blend there, it's not very good. I'm gonna try and do all the colors on my lower lash line. I don't know how this is gonna plan out, but we're gonna try. See, that looks orange for some reason, I don't know why. I'm gonna go in the green. Yeah, I'm gonna go in the green and the yellow for the bottom lower lash line. Like that. Okay, so for the inner corner, this is the thing I'm struggling with. I don't know what to do with the inner corner. Why is that like not a yellow? I'm just gonna go in my Imagination palette, this one, and I think I'm gonna go in the color Angel, just and pop that into my inner corner. Pop! See what I mean? Pop! Just like that. That was quite nice. On to lip. Now, this is, was a really struggle with me because, I don't know, I didn't have any lip colours to match the green, so I'm going to try my best and do a glitter lips for my makeup look. I'm going to go in the NYX, which one's this? I'm going to go in the NYX, a black crystal emerald package, but I'm going to take the green underneath. And I'm just gonna put this all over my lips and I don't know how this is gonna go. I'm gonna use the I Heart Revolution Multiliner Brights Palette and I'm gonna take the emerald green here and I'm just gonna twist it up and line my lips. <laughs> because we're gonna go in some glitter. It might not match the green, but this is the only green I could find in my makeup collection, so. Need to twist it up again. Ooh. Oh my god. Oh my god, the postman's here. I, I can't have him see me like this. Shit. Oh my god. Oh my god, I literally answered to the postman it, like this. Got me parcel. <sighs> Do you know what I said? I said, you caught me the wrong time, getting ready for a fancy dress party. He was just like, oh no worries, you look great. I was like, <sighs> okay. I think I officially scared him off because he was he was like trying to go as I was like explaining to him, but whew, I'm out of breath, had to run down two flights of stairs. So, <laughs> and I was panicking at the same time because I look like this, but gotta do what you gotta do. Whew. Right, so back in with the lips. We're gonna go in this, Thing, this NYX, whatever I said before, and I'm just gonna 
put it onto my hand so it looks like that. Look how shiny that is. And I'm just gonna take, I need to lick it off. Don't do that. I'm just gonna take it on like a sponge brush. And I'm just gonna literally put it on my lips but this is probably the wrong color so. Uh. Okay, I need more. I need more on my lips. Oh my God, I'm still freaking out still that I answered the postman. He had a right fright. Oh my God. It's not covering my chap lips though. Can you see that? As for not covering the rest of my lips, I'm gonna have to go back in this lip liner and just try to cover it. Cause that is not a good look. The application is terrible. I don't even think these are, I don't think you can even use this for your lips. I don't know, I just went for it, so please, um, I don't know if you definitely can use this on your lips, it might be just the eye application, but if you can put it on your eyelids, surely it could be fine on your lips, Ugh, I don't know. But, this is what we're working with. I am not finished that, I want to put something light in the middle, so I'm going to take this Colour Dust eyeshadow, it's in the shade green. I'm not sure where I got this from. I swear I had this years ago, like from Debenhams or something in like a makeup pack, I don't know. But I'm gonna put this in the middle. It's like a baby green, which is super cute. And I think this color looks really spacey. And we're just gonna put it in the middle. Like that. Okay, so there are my lips done. Oh my God. This, this is, this is a look, this is. This is a look all over. Guys, I'm gonna do my eyebrows and my mascara off camera and <laughs> I'll talk to you then. Okay guys, I just finished off my mascara and a bit of eye pencil. I didn't put, I didn't go overboard with that because there's a lot going on here. I went in the Urban Decay Pervision Mascara and I just went in the Delilah Cosmetics Pencil which is literally ran out now. It's such a shame. But here is my completed drumstock lollipop look. Uh, I'm actually really happy with this. I think the lips turn out okay. Bad application, but you know what? It doesn't even matter. Uh, the postman seemed to like it, so it must be a win from him. <laughs> I still can't get over it. Uh, I'll just show you a close-up now. Look how glittery they are and how space is that. That would look so great to a rave, like these lips. Loving it. Yeah, the blending is just a bit off. I can't really blend with that red. I don't know why. So guys, what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget, if you really like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already and you want to become a page, then hit the subscribe button down below. And also let me know what candy you want me to try out next. And yeah, I hope you have a lovely day, night, wherever you're watching this. And my favorite part of this makeup was definitely the lips, even though it didn't applicate really well i think the lips are just like pow the vein of the look i think the stripes are pretty cool it was quite hard to blend and the cut creases it did my head in a bit but we completed it and i'm liking these space buns so guys that's it from me and i hope to see you in the next video bye